Space Engineers. This is Captain Rick Havoc with the Terran Republic Navy, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am coming to you today from the Research and Development Station of the Terran Republic Shipyard to bring you a combat test and review of the ship in front of us. This is the AXT Cormorant Class Cruiser by Bolt 9. And it's a good, it's a pretty good design. A little, little odd, a little complicated inside, but you can get around okay. It's not, it's not really confusing once you've uh, got used to the way the ship's laid out. And unfortunately, uh, in, uh, rehearsal I discovered uh, unfortunately Bolt 9 didn't really put enough point defense on the nose of this ship so I added some and I also added like I add to every ship I review and test in combat a nuclear missile launcher to administer the coup de gras to our adversary. And I, let's see, I added three point, three Atlas point defense turrets up here in the nose, one on each side and one on top. I uh, actually mounted it right on the nuke launcher. And The ship is well armed, other than uh, needing a little imp little improvement in the point defense. Um, it's got plenty of artillery turrets and uh, assault cannon turrets, uh, missile or rocket turrets, whichever you want to call them, and it's got now good point defense. It's got uh, both hydrogen and ion thrusters for propulsion. They give it pretty good acceleration. Deceleration could be better, but you can work with it. And the uh, ship's got enough gyros to make it quite maneuverable. So that's, uh, let's see. I might as well show you, show you the ship from all angles. As you can see, we've even got turrets on the bottom, as well as a thruster array, shall we call it. But yeah, we got turrets down here in the no bottom of the nose. Hmm, got a rearward firing turret down here. So, uh, at least as far as, uh, you know, artillery and uh, assault cannon turrets, uh, Bolt 9 put plenty of them on the ship. Definitely the ship can definitely hold its own in, in a fight. But there's a lot to show you on the inside. It's got several levels. Mostly it's got like 
one main level and uh Okay, so here I'm going to show you the inside of the ship. And we've got a survival kit on right inside the airlock on, on both sides. If you come back to the ship and uh, your health or your power or, your, or any of your indicators are down, recharge as soon as you enter the ship. There's no air vent in there, but we got, you know, plenty of air vents in here to replenish the atmosphere rapidly. Now let forward first. Basically what we've got up here is the crew quarters, or some of the crew quarters. We've got a single occupancy quarters here, a bunk and a shower and a toilet. Here, you know, here's the bunk. Half bed, but it, that's enough. And we just even got a got the uh, got this thing in it, which is uh, inset couch with uh, some sort of uh, plants growing in it. And anyway, nice little decoration. And here is the, uh, is there a shower here too, or just a toilet? I think there's just a toilet. Yeah, just a toilet. And of course, we've got another single quarters right over here. Again, just with a toilet and a bed and uh, some decorations. Some slightly larger quarters up here. Oops, you know, we got room for some lockers and uh, let's see. I think we got showers in this. Yep, we got we got both shower and toilet in uh, in these two up here in the front. So these would be your uh, like captain and first officer here. You know, I mean, rank ha rank has its privileges. The uh, senior officers of the ship should definitely get the best quarters. It's quarters with most amenities. So these are the quarters in the front of the ship. There's more in the back. And we got, uh, you know, some, uh, let's see, vent controller on each side, uh, automaton program block. And we got some, uh, control flight seats here that are not usable for controlling the ship because they are not oriented to the front. Okay, 
Okay, so, and the first thing you'll notice here is we have our uh, vending machine right here, our dispenser. Actually, this is a dispenser. But anyway, if you're going to use a uh, realism mod like, a, you know, Daily Need Survival Kit or something like that that's going to require you to uh, give your give yourself food and water on a regular basis in survival mode you definitely need to have one of those in the ship so you can so, so you can dispense food and drink and back here we have a very spacious hangar. I mean, look at all the space in here. It's got connectors for three parasites, fighters, shuttles, whatever you want to bring in here. And we back in here, we've got on both sides storage area. And with some with some items already stored in it. We got some racks, just all kinds of uh, decorations for uh, you know logistics. back here what we have is the reactor room slash engineering now for some reason bolt 9 neglected to uh, put a an air vent in this compartment and there are doors off of this compartment that go into vacuum. So, uh, the only way to replenish the air in the compartment once you've opened one of these doors on the side is to open the big door and let air in from the rest of the ship. Not the most efficient means. There really ought to be an air vent in here somewhere to repressurize the space. I don't think it would be that hard to get one in here. Maybe it would. I don't know. I don't know if uh, there's any connect where, where I would connect it. That's the problem. I'm not sure where I would connect an air vent. Oh, down here. I can see right here. Yep. Hmm. I wonder. It looks like. Anyway, ah, yes, let's see. Yeah, there are connectors under these grates. So it wouldn't be all that difficult to replace a couple of these with air vents to repressurize the room. Anyway, so.
least that looks like that's what can be done here. But as you can see, this is vacuum in here. This seems to be just a uh, repair access, basically. hydrogen tanks in here and uh, unfortunately uh, way too many conveyor blocks way too many conveyor blocks in here it's a wasteful PCU conveyor tubes less PCU and just for like like for this for this chain of connect of, of conveyors this could be you know you don't need to use conveyor blocks for everything but we got some uh, large cargo containers in here and gyros and thrusters, which is why we got no air in here, because there's thrusters. But that's what's in, that's what's in here on both sides. Not to mention the fact that all these conveyor blocks actually slow your game down because a conveyor block like that has six attachment points where a uh, conveyor conveyor tube usually only has two or maybe three for a T junction. So anyway, so unless you put some unless you put some uh, air vents in here somewhere, you're gonna have to uh, replenish the air in this compartment by doing that. Whenever you uh, go through one of those doors, whenever you open one of those side doors. Now there are uh, multiple levels here. The only one's really uh, extensive is down this way. So I'm going to take you down to the bottom first and show you, uh, show, basically show you the ship from the bottom up. Show you the interior of the ship from the bottom up. And back here we have our med bay. And it's even got a couple of assemblers in it. And here's your, uh, you know, your medical room. I'm even stuck an aquarium in here. And a blurry you know, screen with a blurry image. This is, this is your uh, medical facility. Mm. Actually, I do see one thing he failed, something he failed to put in here. There's no cryopods in here. I never use cryopods myself, but... And it doesn't... It's not, if you've got orders for your crew, you don't really need...
so. On down we go. No, oh, what's this here? Oh, it's just access panel over a cargo container. Large cargo container at that. Think, I feel like Bolt 9 did not skimp on the decoration of the ship. Plenty of decorative blocks in this ship. So down here, what we seem to have... observation deck of some kind here. It's got windows so you can see out. This is this is the bottom of the ship. absolute basement of the ship. You cannot go lower inside the ship. We got like we got this uh, inset inset cryopod cryo room here on either side. So you do got a couple, at least a couple of cryopods. Of, you know. There really should be some be some in uh, the med bay. I mean, at least in theory, if you know, I mean, wouldn't actually be that way in this game the way they got things, but you know, you got a someone in your crew badly injured and you can put you can always stick them in a cryopod So, and on this level, what we have more 
are sideways facing uh, control seats that you can't use to control the ship because they face sideways. And got a you know, couple console blocks here and sofas and each of these console blocks has a projection of this ship on it. And we got some uh, program blocks, automaton program program blocks. Um, let's see. I guess I got a over now. What's over here is basically the entrance to the rest of the crew quarters. And you got this long corridor, hallway, whatever you want to call it, on either side of the hangar. Closed off from the hangar, so even if the hang hangar bay is open to vacuum, this 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 space will have air. that kitchen even here. What well, we got bunks. Got bunks and, and bathrooms. Yep. Oh yeah, there's even showers. Oh yeah, there's two toilets and two and two showers back here. Yes, this is a well-appointed crew quarters, actually. Lockers. Sofas to kick, you know, just relax on. Yes, this ship has good accommodation for its crew. here this is basically your uh, primary control position for uh, controlling the ship in combat you got a standing helm here with a custom cur turret controller in front of it and you also have on either side you've got a four button panel with buttons set up to uh, operate the hangar doors and the hangar lights Open up your hangers right from here, as well as you know, control control the ship. And now, I'll take you on up.
And up here we have our, some people would call this the bridge. Basically, it's your unprotected control position for when you're not going to go into a, in, into a fight. You don't want to fight the ship from this control position. It's not protected. So that's the inside of the ship. He's got, he did put more decorations in up here too. Console box and uh, control, control seats. Another console block back here and uh, another four button panel with uh, two buttons set up to uh, operate the lights and the doors on the hangar. So that's, oh, actually, that's the inside, of, that's the inside of the ship. Let's have a look at the internals. Artillery turrets, 22 assault cannon turrets, 27 warfare batteries, 144 gyroscopes, 15 hydrogen tanks. Two H two generators. Okay, so now I've got to actually add gotta add these uh, Atlas Point Defense. Point Defense Group. There they are. Dozen oxygen tanks. Thrusters, four jump drives, uh, five large cargo containers, rocket turrets. Refineries. Let's see, six, 
six rocket turrets. itself. I will be back when I have this ship out on the test range and set it up set up an adversary to test it against. So until then I hope you'll remember to uh, go down below to the description and smash those buttons to like and subscribe and the subscribe and the notification bell and uh, that way you can continue to um, see ship reviews like this one so until I until later I hope you all have a good day <laughs>